This week on Primo's Truth About Hunting. This week we're home hunting in Mississippi with our family. This afternoon is a very special hunt for me. My wife is on her very first video hunt. He comes straight to that yes, buzzer, didn't he? Did. he? Absolutely. When well, we seen him, he was back in the woods chasing does. That wasn't any fun, was it? Yes. I had fun, buddy. Look at Jordan. That's the thing he killed from steal from the car wash. <laughs> The Block Black, Ozonics, Black Gold, Ripcord, and Primo's Honey. Speak the language. Well, this week we're home hunting in Mississippi with our families. I'm going to be hunting with Kemper Cole, and Jordan's hunting with his wife Ashley, and Keith is hunting with his wife Randy. And this time of year here in Mississippi, the temperatures are starting to drop. And the pre-rut is about to happen. So we got the family out with the boomsticks. Who we waiting on? We're waiting for Ashley, um, Ashley and Jordan to come, but there's a lot of hell like, right behind our truck. So I'm going to jump out and, like, get them away. What, you, you going to scare the cows? <laughs> Are you going to run around the truck? No, I'm going to get out and get them away. Oh, they're coming to get you. Well, it looks like Kimber Cole is no cowboy. Finally, Ashley and Jordan arrive, and it's time to jump on the ranger and head to the woods. Don't hit them. Just put them aside. Over here. As it continues to drizzle, the temperature begins to drop. So we're hoping for a great afternoon. Good luck. Goodbye. Hey, don't shoot a little one. Don't shoot a She goes shoot a spot. It's actually good luck. Actually, you might kill the first bug today. Wait, we're doing, look at Jordan. What That's the thing he killed from, steal from the car wash. That's one. <laughs> I hate your mama. You the mud on this afternoon is a very special hunt for me. My wife Ashley is on her very first video hunt, and the weather is perfect in Mississippi, and we're hunting a beautiful biologic food plot. Ashley and Jordan have been putting up with the drizzling rain for about an hour and a half when all of a sudden the buck that they're after steps into the field.
And now we get to go get warm in the truck. Are you cold? That's an understatement. Bryce, let me see your gun. <laughs> go, go to it. That's, a, that's Ashley's first buck. Like me and Kemp, we heard him shoot. Kemp goes, she got a buck, I bet you. That is a fine deer, man. That's him, ain't it, Chris? That's him, look at the base. <laughs> that's a, you see all the crap around his base where he's been rubbing? Yeah. What a nice deer. You have hunted your tail off this year. And it all through in a freezing rain. All through bow season. Got your first deer with a bow. Done. This first is buck. her first buck. She killed her first deer with a bow. That is nice. Good job. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Mossy Oaks Native Nurseries and Biologic and Summit Tree Stands. Are you fired up? <laughs> What was this buck doing them does? He's chasing them. He's going to sneak up on us and see what was making on that racket. Yeah. Ashley, she got it done. Her first buck on camera with the Primos guys. Well, now it's about two weeks later, and Kipper Cole and I, we're headed back to another biologic spot. And this is one of our favorite locations. We call it the Honey Hole. Kipper Cole and I just got in the blind. We drove in here to Polaris Ranger. Then dude didn't even know we came in, did we? We sneak in. But we got four or five does in here left out the other end of the field. Huge biologic plot here. We're here in Mississippi. It's a couple of days for what's coming up in two days. What's in two days? You don't know what's in two days. Christmas. I mean every every kid in the world knows Christmas is coming in two days, but you are you worried about what food plot we hunting in the next two days, ain't you? <laughs> Some deer coming out down there, okay? Here comes a big one behind him, buddy. Don't move. What you wanna do? You want me you want Daddy to shoot him? Yeah. Okay. You may do that, okay? That deer looks like an elk. An elk. It wasn't long before this buck comes back, and Kemper Cole is now behind the camera. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Don't touch the camera. Let go. Let me see if he's in focus. Let that dome move. Don't touch the camera. Let that dome move, okay? Kimber Cole said, Daddy, he's too far from me. You gotta shoot that book. <laughs> hey, that deer was 240 yards. And that's just too far for you, isn't it, buddy? We're not, we've been practicing well, how far? One, 100 yards. And that's just too far. But I told you, you see him, he's been chasing does all over the field, ain't he? And uh, sit right here. So Kimber Cole said, Daddy, you gotta shoot that one. <laughs> Did you want me to shoot him? He's a nice buck, isn't he? Are you fired up? 
I have fun, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go anywhere, did he? Yeah, but look right there. He's got a little fighting scar. What was this buck doing to them does? He's chasing them. Yeah, look. I didn't see. I didn't realize how big that deer came through here like this. Well, we seen him. He was back in the woods chasing does. Remember, you and I kept talking about we see a deer back in the woods, and uh, he came over there. Did he? Yeah, he went out. over there and then he came back out. How many times have we hunted this spot, buddy? About four or five times, haven't we? And I told you sooner or later, what? A bug gonna walk out here. A big bug gonna walk out here. And anyway, hey, it's that time of year that we call the rut. We love the rut, don't we? <laughs> this segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Smokehouse Salt Company and Tight Spot Arrow Quivers. That wasn't any fun, was it? Yes. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> he kind of spooled there for a minute. Thought he was gone. Yeah, he comes straight to that motor yes, organ. This Primo's Minute is brought to you by Polaris Ranger EV. Welcome to this week's Primo's Minute. And this week, we're going to tell you all about Primo's Red Spot. Red Spot consists of minerals, vitamins, and beetroots that ensure your deer herd is getting everything they need to reach their full potential. We start our red spot sites in early spring and replenish them throughout the summer and in the fall. Red spot is not only an attractive, but a building block for healthier deer with these key ingredients. One ingredient is vitamin A. It's good for a deer's immune, digestive, and reproductive system. Vitamin D, which enhances bone growth and antler development. And last but not least are beetroots. A beetroot is a rich source of antioxidants and nutrients that are great for a deer's digestive tract. And it's also one of the main ingredients in Red Spot. Once we have our Red Spot site ready, we put up truth cams to get all the pictures we want. And that's your Primo's Minute for this week. And that's how we speak the language. Old Kipper Cole, I believe he learned one thing about his old pops. You ain't got to ask me but one time if I want to shoot something. But really, now it's his turn. We're going to try to get him a buck on the same piece of property, but a different food plot. Kipper Cole is back in the blind, and he's probably going to wait for a deer to get in range and not give Daddy the gun this time. Hey, it's windy today, ain't it? You're not the not What is it? Be still, be still. Oh, Lord. Until he gets down here, okay? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Just, yeah, put it right on it, you know, in the top of his leg. Breathe good, okay? Okay. Let him keep coming. He's too far right now. When this buck enters the field, no, he slowly far. starts to make his way towards our blind. Kemper Cole is going to have to control his breathing okay. until this buck gets in the rain. He's coming to us. 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 Okay, talk to him or daddy. Okay, hold on. Alright. Scope out. You on him good? Yeah. Hold on. You rest real good right there on daddy. Okay. Can you rest good? Take your time. Put it on your shoulder good. Take your time. Don't close your eyes. Focus. Yeah, Daddy. Yes. 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 
<laughs> yes, I am. That's a leaf. Give me a headphone. He's a more fail. Yep. Yeah. That's a good job. Yeah, but, huh? You did it, buddy. <laughs> hey, got you a Mississippi eight point. <laughs> Look at that smile. Let me see you smile. <laughs> well, good job, buddy. Now can I do this again? What? Ow! <laughs> Go down there. Go down there. Go down there. What? Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is a waste of time. Hey, your hands getting cold? Yeah. Hey, I'm proud of you, buddy. Hope your feet getting cold. <laughs> hey, was that? That wasn't any fun, was it? Yeah. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Ammo to Go and C Spire Wireless. Bill, buddy, the mass. Yeah. He had us fooled there for a minute. Thought he was gone. Yeah, he comes straight to that yes, buck roar, didn't he? Yes, he did. Absolutely. Well, it's primitive weapon season here in Mississippi, and the rut is in full swing. So I decided to take my wife Randy hunting this afternoon. So we got in the ground blind. We ain't been in the ground blind 10 seconds. I looked down at the other end of the plot and here comes a big old buck out to play. We just got set up and in the process of getting fed up and we got a big buck down at the end of this uh, green field. He's about, I ranged it, he's about 216 yards down there. Uh, Keith thought he saw a duck run across the field. So we're um, in Mississippi right now and the rut is starting to pick up a little bit so this buck may have been chasing that doe but he is just just chilling down there for right now we're gonna hopefully he'll come closer this way so i can get a shot it's primitive weapon season so i just, i can't make that long a shot right now so we'll see what happens hopefully he's gonna come this way he's a decent a nice decent buck so As this buck starts to leave, Keith begins grunting. And it isn't long before this buck shows up right next to the blind, looking for the deer he's been listening to. I was on him. I was dead on him. Good gracious. What? That was exciting. 
He did exactly what you said he was going to do though. He started grunting at him. And he went back in. And decided he was going to try to sneak attack. And come on around. Big old body. Hey, he comes straight to that yes, buckroid, didn't he? he did. Absolutely. He kind of spooled there for a minute. Thought he was, thought he was gone, but he's gonna sneak up on us and see what was made on that racket. Yeah. Man alive. Big old weight point. Yeah. Thanks for being with us on The Truth and sharing with us what we love and cherish so much, this great sport of hunting. Join us again as we continue the tradition of hunting and just living the outdoor lifestyle. God willing, we'll see you next week. Next week on Primo's Truth About Hunting. South Dakota, it's been a lot of fun, ain't it? Old Scarface. We crawled 120 yards. That is a pretty deer. You know, the rut's kicking here in South Dakota. This old boy coming down out of the hills following does. Another one with the buck in South Dakota. I started looking over my shoulder and here he comes. <laughs>